suppose you buy a car. Suppose you buy a car, right? We'll go with that $50,000 amount. And you know you're only going to use this car for five years. Maybe it's like a company car, or you plan to upgrade or something like that, okay? That means over those five years, you eventually want to get down to zero value, right? You want to have lost all the value there so you get the maximum benefit for your tax purposes, okay? So what I want to do is say, well, how do I work out how much depreciation I'm losing every year, or what will be my value after two or three or four years? So I want you to draw for me a little set of axes. This has to be small. Um, think back to when we were looking at linear relationships. This is a linear relationship. You can see it's even in the name telling you it's going to be linear. It says straight line. What would a graph of this depreciation look like of the value over time? So I'm going to label this straight as time. I'm going to label this as value. Now, as the name suggests, straight line method of depreciation. Okay, you're going to start up here at fifty thousand dollars. Right, that's the value of the car. And after some number of years you want it to go in a straight line down to zero. Okay? So for instance, you might say, uh, after five years. Okay? So, you can see if I put in a few extra little markings on my axis here, right? Um, I've said five years, so let's go one, two, three, four. Yeah, if I say, okay, one, two, three, four. Every year, how much am I losing? And the answer is $50,000 over five years, it's $10,000 every year, okay? So, for instance, <laughs> don't worry, you'll get to a point where you earn more than that. Um, you can see, if I said, okay, what is it after one year? You can see there's my 40,000, right? What is it after two years? You can see there's my 30,000. And you can keep going down, okay? Now, this picture tells you why this is called what it is, and it gives you a great image of why uh, what is happening. But I don't always want to have to draw a picture, right? A lot of this is very predictable, so that's why there is a formula, okay? So have a look at this formula with me. You might want to write it down as well. S equals V naught minus D <coughs> times N. With another color, you can see they've actually described for you everything. Now I'm going to uh, go with their definition, but I'm going to explain some of the words. So firstly, S. They've defined S, the reason why they choose the word S is salvage. It stands for salvage value. Salvage. Salvage. Okay. Um, there are a couple of other names for this, by the way, um, which I want you to be able to recognize. Uh, in addition to salvage value, they will sometimes call that book value. I'll explain that in a second. Um, and the other thing they sometimes call it is written down value. Now, both of these two other words, phrases rather, book value and written down value, both of these come from the accounting world, right? So you're a company, you bought a whole bunch of cars. In your books, how much is that car that's actually three years old? How much is that thing actually worth, right? So in your books, there's a number written across each one of the cars you purchased, and that's the book value. Uh, because it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller, um, they write it down. And at some point, does anyone know what happens when you get rid of something and say it's worthless? You don't write it down, you write it... If you, if you have a car and you completely total it, someone will say, oh, you wrote off the car, right? Which is another way of saying it's not worth anything anymore, right? So you write it down, you write it down, it reduces, 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 and eventually you just get rid of it. It's not on the books anymore, you write it off the books. Okay, so that's the salvage value. That's this art. What am I worth at this current point in time? And then what are the rest of these things? So, another color. V stands for, or V naught rather, stands for initial value. So why do you think, I mean the V is obviously for value, why do you think they have a naught in there? What's that about? Zero is <laughs> Zero is kind of like the time. It's like after zero years, or zero days, or whatever. No time has passed, you just brought it brand new, that's the initial value. Okay. That leaves these last two bits. I'll talk about N first. N's pretty standard. We know like the, um, the compound interest formula and the simple interest formula. They all have N in it. What does N refer to? Number of it, It's how long you've been doing this. And that's generally years. So I'll say number of. Um, and it's usually years, like I said, but they say time periods. Yep. Yep. No. There's not. So, but you never need to put in V 
nor like you can just you don't need to put that into your calculator as algebra you just put in the number that it's actually equivalent to okay so yeah I don't think there is not easily anyway um, lastly lastly you can see D stands for the amount of depreciation rather per period remember we said in this case that was ten thousand dollars every single time so this is the depreciation the lost value So you can see how it would apply in this particular example. What would our formula for depreciation be for some number of years? You would say, in this case, S is equal to, what's our V naught for this graph, for this car? 50,000. It's 50,000. That was the initial value, right? 50,000. Take away, how much did we say was depreciating, depreciating every year? No, 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 no. On, on this particular graph, this simpler graph that I've drawn, it's just 10, isn't it, right? So I'm going to write, uh, 10,000 there, that's D, times N, however many years you like. So for instance, you can see here, if I went N equals 5, N equals 5, it'll be 50,000 take away uh, 10,000 times 5, which is 50,000 take away 50,000. It's zero. After five years, it's not worth anything. Okay? Um, after three years, you can work it out, 50,000 take away 30,000, so it'll be 20,000. So this just tells you, where, where am I along the graph? What are each of these values? Okay. 